In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Amen. Let us pray. Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that the striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedy your kindness bestowed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. I, Daniel, found my spirit anguished within its covering of flesh. And I was terrified by the visions of my mind. I approached one of those present and asked him what all this meant in truth. In answer, he made known to me the meaning of the things. These four great beasts stand for four kingdoms which shall arise on the earth. But the holy ones of the Most High shall receive the kingship, to possess it forever and ever. But I wish to make certain about the fourth beast, so very terrible and different from the others, devouring and crushing with its iron teeth and bronze claws, the trampling with its feet, what was left about the ten horns on its head and the other one that sprang up before which three horns fell, about the horn with the eyes and the mouth that spoke arrogantly, which appeared greater than its fellows. For as I watched, that horn made war against the holy ones and was victorious until the ancient one arrived. Judgment was pronounced in favor of the Holy Ones of the Most High. And the time came when the Holy Ones possessed the kingdom. He answered me thus, The fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom on earth, different from all the others. It shall devour the whole earth, beat it down, and crush it. The ten horns shall be ten kings rising out of that kingdom. Another shall rise up after them, different from those before him, who shall lay low three kings. He shall speak against the Most High and oppress the Holy Ones of the Most High, thinking to change the feast days and the law. They shall be handed over to him for a year, two years, and a half year. But when the court is convened and his power is taken away by final and absolute destruction, then the kingship and dominion and majesty of all the kingdoms under the heavens shall be given to the holy people of the Most High, whose kingdom shall be everlasting. All dominions shall serve and obey him. The word of the Lord. Amen. Give glory and eternal praise to him. You sons of men, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and 
Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Give glory and eternal praise to him. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware that they, your hearts do not become drowsy from uh, drunkenness and the anxieties of daily life. And, uh, and that day catch you by surprise like a trap. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of be vigilant at all times and pray that you have the strength to escape the tribulations that are immediate and to stand before the Son of Man, the Gospel of the Lord. We are warned in many ways throughout the Gospels that our judgment can come at any time. In the parables that tell us to keep oil in our lamps or remind us of the separation of sheep and goats, we get the same message as today's call to be vigilant in the preparation for Jesus' return. And now, brothers and sisters, let us offer our petitions to God, our Heavenly Father. For all priests and bishops, may God bless them with the gift necessary to lead us in the new liturgical year. Let us pray to the Lord. For world leaders, may they be blessed with God's wisdom in policy making and governing. Let us pray to the Lord. For this community of disciples, may the graces of this sacrament help us uh, as we go forth to spread the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who have died in the hope of rising with Christ, may they soon rest in the peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord. Loving Father, we humbly ask that you answer our prayers. Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God of creation, for the goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and woman of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, God of creation, for the goodness we have received the wine we offer you through the divine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God and your mighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings to which at your binding we dedicated to your name, and in order that the through this gift we may become a worthy of your love, the weather's unfailing obedience to your commands, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let up your heart. Let us give a thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just our good and our salvation always and ever to give a thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to Christ our Lord, his death we celebrate in love, his resurrection we confess with living faith, and his coming in glory we await with hope, and so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without that we are praised. Necessary of faith, we proclaim. <laughs> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving a thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread that throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis of Pope and Grace our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, the fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome and thank you to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most sweet spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Zachary, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be coerced into the life, and may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and with him, O God, my Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory be to God, Blessed hope and the time of our 
Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, be their name, and be their Gabriel. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, for the grand, grand endeavor. Amen. Amen. That will be the Lord be pure way. Amen. Amen. Let us have a job that signs. The Bible Christ. 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 The Bible Christ.
pray. We pray, Almighty God, that are those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be parted from you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Amen.